Hey guys, so Machinist is one of the jobs that I actually think is in trouble right now. Patch 6.2 brought in some slight changes to the Automaton Queen, which I wanted to sit on and see play out. And now the numbers are in and Machinist is net okay. But out the gate, I have had the pleasure to speak with so many of the top Machinists in the world and I think it is important to state that in a game like Final Fantasy XIV, which job you are taking into content is only one, and I'd argue a significantly smaller one part, of what it takes to prog and clear content. Obviously social games like an MMO being sociable, kind, polite, being someone people want to be around is all important, but beyond those obvious points, a well-played machinist, or rather a well-skilled player who has chosen to play machinist, is invaluable and will outperform the average player 99 times out of 100, completely separate from the job that they chose to play. If you disagree with me, just look at Party Finder PF groups. We see a lot of the top jobs being played in there. But are they being played well? No. I had to cut recording there because I actually laughed. <laughs> Moving on from that point though, I just thought that that was going to be a very important baseline is machinist is as a job in this exceptionally weird state is it is objectively, undeniably, factually the worst of the ranged physical DPS. I, in fact, I think that it would be very, very hard outside of very specific fringe situations I'm going to talk about later in this video to argue that Machinist is just not objectively way behind the other two, let alone all DPS in this game actually. The Machinist does not provide utility of any form. I'm not even talking about weak utility, I'm talking about no utility of any form outside of the obvious baseline utility all physical ranged DPS bring. It has absolutely none. It does not have any mobility abilities. Against the jobs in the same class, Bard has an exceptionally strong backstep that was buffed recently, I say recently, it was probably a few months ago at this point, to have a far larger range. And I personally have used the Bard backstep exhaustively when I progged on Bard last expansion. It was fantastic in E12S. Uh, like you had the Shiva spreads, oh my god, you get into that pinch point, you use that beautiful case scenario. I did it so many times. But what I'm getting at is now that ability is even better, and I used it exhaustively before. And then Dancer is just on its own dimension in Final Fantasy XIV in general in terms of mobility. It has three fantastic dashes, making it ridiculously mobile and able to clean up mistakes very easily. Tracer dashes in Final Fantasy XIV remains one of the dumbest and most amazing things that I have ever seen added to this game. Now the rebuttal to that, which I am gonna say is, I think, a fair one to some degree, is that you factually don't need mobility abilities to dodge mechanics. True, you don't. You also don't need air conditioning in a car, but it's sure nice to have when needed, especially during prog when things can get a little messy. Like, technically, Ninja doesn't need its passive movement speed, or Tsukuchi, or Riton in the Ninja's kit technically doesn't need to be 20 yards range, but I can guarantee you, if we took those away, it would and rightfully so, cause ninjas to raise hell. But further from mobility is the utility portion cannot be denied either. Take Dancer. Dancer has four core utilities that I personally find absolutely invaluable. First up is going to be Curing Waltz, which is a 600 potency AoE heal, so the entire party can technically get in it, technically rarely the main tank, but it is easier than ever with a coordinated group, or even many PF strategies, like Barbarisha is forcing the group often to stack. And so, like, basically, in terms of coordinate gameplay, I'm talking about AKA, stand behind the boss, wail on it. And that's up literally every minute. To compare it to other abilities in the game, Sage has the ability Numa that has a quoted 600 baseline potency on its two minute cooldown. I use it a lot, I find it a very strong, very powerful bunny. Obviously Sage has more of a kit for healing than just that, let's not go down that frankly ridiculous rabbit hole here, but another comparison is White Mage's Cure 3. Dancer every minute gets to do this at no cost, no cast time, off GCD weave, boom. And I can tell you as a healer, I do feel when this ability is used versus when it's not. I laugh because I'm thinking, oh god, some of the PF groups, and I'm like, ooh. But there's more. Like, the Dancer also has the Improvisation ability, which is a 500 pounds to heal over time to the party. Do I think that's the strongest Curing Waltz, which is that instant burst? 
No. But it is nonetheless a very powerful ability that you can plan around and is definitely got some weight to it. 500 potency, especially when you compare it with Curing Waltz, that is 1100 potency. That's for free from a DPS. That is good. But what makes this improvisation ability even better is it can be weaved after for an at minimum 5% and up to 10% barrier if you can afford the time there. And all of this is going to be an AoE as well. All of that costs them no damage. And yeah, obviously baseline 10% party mitigation from Shield Samba. Now here's where I need to be super duper 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 clear. I'm even tempted to put it as like a timestamp for a video chapter, whatever they're calling it these days. But to be direct, I don't want to see Dancer nerfed. I love Dancer. I think it is a gorgeous job with clearly valuable utility that I don't want to see ever disappear. But what I want people to tell me is how is Machinist meant to keep up with that? It can't. It has quite literally no extra utility, none. You can't even argue to compare utility because it does not exist. It simply isn't there. Now what I hear very, very often, and I like hear it all the time even now, is that Machinist is like Black Mage, and its utility is damage. You know what? You can bring all the heals you want. My utility is pew pew. You don't need to heal when they're dead, right, bro? And on every single fight this tier, outside of P5S, Proto Carbuncle, Machinist is dead last. Absolute dead last in the entire DPS category. So... No. Machinist's utility is not damage. Also, while Machinist is dead last and left in the dirt, Dancer is way, way ahead of it. Is the Dancer the number one DPS? Is the Dancer in the melee DPS? No, but that is just the like strata of how things are going. Is it's just like Dancer is like comfortably around the middle and then Machinist just dead last. And because people compare Machinist to the Black Mage, I'm gonna <laughs> compare the Machinist to the Black Mage. <laughs> Black Mage is clearly ahead so much that I'd argue people struggling to meet DPS and Black Mage is even ahead when compared against Red Mage and Summoner. But Black Mage, whether it is as a DPS as a whole or whether it is within its own category, is pulling so far ahead and so much so that I'd argue that people struggling to meet DPS checks should consider, just consider, I'm not saying do it, but consider swapping their magical range DPS for Black Mage way before they looked at micro optimization and kicking your warrior from the group for Gunbreaker, which is just a fraction, a tiny fraction of this gap that you can see between Black Mage and the other two ranged fit magical, ranged magical DPS. Why does Black Mage pull ahead now is a fair question to ask. And it's because it has more hard cast, low mobility moments, aka less mobility, and it also doesn't bring the utility above and beyond like the other two cast or DPS do. Yes, I'm avoiding saying magical ranged after that to slip off. Even that is weird to say because the Black Mage has many, many, many mobility abilities baked into its kit. But relative to things like Summoner, it is far more rigid. What I'm getting at with here is you see that disparity there between Black Mage and the other cast or DPS? It's quite literally in the same Botus Machinist in essence. Lower mobility than its counterparts and no utility to its counterparts. So with all of that like out there, I'm not gonna really apologize for saying out of all of the DPS in the game, I had the one that I am worried about is Machinist. It is somehow below Red Mage that quite literally brings multiple forms of AoE mitigation and spammable combat revives. It's way behind its counterparts and frankly there is only one one single situation that I can think about picking Machinist as being optimal. That is when your party, your entire party, is so infinitely bad that you are throwing damage into the wind by giving away raid DPS to buff them. Dancer largely does skirt around that issue because if you have one good player, such as literally your Dark Knight, just good Dark Knight, just one good tank, your DPS are all bad, partnering them during their opener alone just their opener alone is well worth it, and I kid you not, that is actually an effective use of your opener as a dancer to buff a Dark Knight, at least specifically during their opener, because that is just so much. But outside of these situations of kind of being in like a party finder scenario or a, <laughs> a static group that is kind of like a party finder scenario with a very, very, very underperforming raid group, I can't see Machinist's validity here. Caveat time. Outside of having fun, of course. I always get that comment, and I'm like, duh, guys. I myself played Machinist for a long time because I absolutely love the job. I love the aesthetic. There are so many good things I love about it. Bob, do something. That is iconic. Machinist factually, objectively needs love right now, and it's needed it last patch? 
It's needed it since Endwalker's release, actually. Mm. <laughs> but it needed last patch since Endwalker's release, and it still needs it now. And that brings me, unfortunately, to the end of this topic for now. Now, if you want to drop a machinist on that like button and can't die that subscribe button, it would make me so super happy. And I need a little bit of happiness because I actually do love the machinist a lot. But to say the least, it makes me sad to end the video here. But I am hoping by adding my voice into the mix that it gets the conversation rolling in hopes that something can change. It's been since Endwalker's release the machinist is really in a sussy position right now. Take care everyone and I genuinely hope you have a beautiful day.